<laughs> I hate math. Okay, oh. let's go with question number three. How many are there? Five. Oh, we are Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Maureen. I'm already 38 years old. Wow, I'm old. Uh, I'm Cheryl, and I'm 19 this year. I'm Billy Ma Yun. I'm 24 this year. Uh, I'm Macy. My age is 29 this year. Uh, 30 this year, oh my god. <laughs> what was your favourite subject in primary school? Primary school? Uh, English, because I topped it. <laughs> Chinese. Uh, science. To be very honest, my favourite subject was actually math. For real. What did you score for your PSLE mathematics? I think it's a B. Oh, I think I got a B, maybe. I got an A. A. Okay, so today we will be testing you some of the hardest PSLE math questions. 15 years ago? <laughs> Damn long ago. Okay, okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm very sure last time PSLE question is very easy compared to now. I'm sure my primary school tuition teacher will be very proud of me today. Question 1, 2009 PSLE. Jim bought some chocolates and gave half of them to Ken. Ken bought some sweets and gave half to Jim. Jim ate 12 sweets and Ken ate 18 chocolates. The ratio of Jim's sweets to chocolates became 1 is to 7 and the ratio of Ken's sweets to chocolates became 1 is to 4. How many sweets did Ken buy? Uh, I don't want to do already. I know, like, I went tuition because of this kind of question. Like, the fractions and the ratio shit was, it was not my thing. This one I need to draw models. Yeah. I remember my primary school I always Okay, so Jim bought some chocolates, gave half to Ken. This is madness. Wait, wait, this is. <laughs> this is it possible? I can use any method, right? Yes. Chocolate, let's do X. Sweets, let's do Y. I haven't used my brain in them long, so A levels was like 8 months ago. I think I should use algebra on this. But then it's got ratio. For ratio, can you use algebra? Jim's sweets to chocolate is 1 is to 7. Cross multiply. Hey, why so tricky? Ah? 812 only, ma. 812. No, no, no. This question got problem. Is this a true PSRE question? Yes. What the shit? X equals to 62. Y equals to. Um, so equation 1, equation 2, let's do simultaneous. So it's a 2, 0, 4, 14y, 10. Huh? It's water. Eh, hey, what's what, yeah? Wait, so the last statement, the ratio of dream sweets and chocolate is... Is what? It's like, it's what they ate, is it? It's after they ate, then become this ratio. After they... Oh, no, the more is not clear. After they eat. How I know? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got it already. Uh, one three eight plus seven C equals to four C. Oh no! Okay, I wrong here. Wait, sorry. Give me a bit more time. So seven equals to y over two. So this is two. This one is equation one. So we should do four y equals to seven y minus one six eight minus thirty six. <laughs> I don't think this is right. This is a lot. Um. Okay, but I think I'm done. Oh my god. Can I see thumb? My final answer is 36. Number of sweet, 68. My final answer is... <laughs> 62 sweets. Is it correct? Please say it's correct. We're embarrassing for a long it's not. So, the final answer is... 68 sweets. <laughs> Why? Wow. Got answer? Can you show me the answer? My final answer is 68 sweets. I did not do anything wrong. Question 2 is from 2012 PSLE. A bakery and a library are 120 meters apart. They are located between Hong's house and Jaya's Ya's house. The bakery is exactly halfway between the two houses. One day, Hong and Jaya started cycling from the houses at the same time and they arrived at the library together. Jaya cycled at 70 meters per minute. While Hong cycled 15 meters per minute faster than Jaya. How much further did Hong cycle than Jia? And how far is Jia's house from the library? How much further? 120, 20, 20 meters lah. So this is the speed that we have, right? So assuming this is the speed, this is 85, this is Hong is to Jia. 
85 is to 70, let's try. Wait, there's a distance speed time triangle that I'm supposed to remember. Distance equals to speed times time, okay. How much further did Hong cycle than Jaya? Like 120 meters further? <laughs> is it? Because they are halfway. It's not about the minutes, it's about the distance. Which means he did cycle 120 meters further. 3 units, 120. 1 unit, 40. So minus away 680. He cycled 120. What? <laughs> Why am I thinking so high? This is a question again. I think I to be 120 meters. How does someone even cycle 50 meters per minute? I can walk like 100 meters per minute. I can. <coughs> hey, wait, no. It's 50 minutes faster. Oh, no wonder. 85 meters per minute. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. 85 minutes. So it's 120 divided by 85. Ah. 1.41176471 Oh my god, I'm stuck. Got MCQ? Do <laughs> it. So how much further did Hong cycle? Hong cycle 120 meters more than JR. 120 meters. I got A, 120 meters. The answer is 120 meters. If I don't know this, maybe I'm stupid. For B, it's one kilometer. If I don't know this, I can be forgiven. <laughs> and my answer for B is 560 meters. 560 meters. 360 meters. Okay, the answer for A is 240 meters. Who's more? Oh my god, it's too big! Why? And the answer for B is 1120 meters. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, both of them is like times two of my current answer. I think the answer is wrong. You see, uh, when I like that, right? It's another 120 meter. Then when I like that, it's 120 meter. Then like that, it's another 120. So 120 times 3. So technically, it's 360 meters. Am I wrong? Yes, you are wrong. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Question 3 is from 2019 PSLE. Pupils in a school are put together into two groups of learning journey. Two fifths of the pupils are in group A and the rest are in group B. One quarter of the pupils in group A are girls. In the school, 3 out of 10 of the pupils are girls. What fraction of the pupils in group B are girls? Like, got a stroke reading there. I have very bad at fraction. Okay, let me draw a model. I think this will be easier. So, 2, 3. This is group A, this is group B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow, I haven't used models in like 10 years. One quarter of the pupils are girls. So, this is girls. 2 fifth of the whole entire group A means 2 over 20 means 1 over 10. Oh! Oh, that makes sense. So, 1 ten of the whole entire school's population of girls is in A. How do I split this equally then? Dot, 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 dot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, wow! I'm so hard. <laughs> like, it's not hard. It's just very complicated. If I'm primary 6, I will have solved this, but I'm not. I'm primary 6 times 3 or something. <laughs> if I'm going to do it, it's 3y over 5 equals to 2 over 10. Cross multiply, we get 30y equals to 10. 2 out of 10 equals to 1 out of 5. I got the answer. Wow, very fast. I think. <laughs> okay, my answer is one fifth of the uh, of the pupils in group B are girls. Technically, if they are not playing tricks on the question, is one this is one fifth of the whole school are girls in group B. I mean, if I'm wrong, it means the understanding of the English is wrong. But yeah. My final answer is one out of five. This might be the easiest thing I've ever. I bro, I, actually, I closed my eyes while doing this in case you didn't see. One third of the pupils in group B are girls. Okay, and the answer is one third. Goodbye! <laughs> Why am I getting everything wrong? One third! Yay! Huh? Wait, no, impossible. In the school trip. What? Huh? Question 4 is from 2019 PSLE. Oliver and Jamie purchased several egg tarts for 61.20 each. Each! Okay, Jamie was given a 15% discount since he had a coupon. And was able to purchase 6 additional egg tarts as compared to Oliver. Part A, what was the number of egg tarts that Jamie bought? 
part B, how much does an egg tart cost before the discount? Now we are talking about the egg tarts. Oh my, my, my head, my head damn pain already. Oliver, Jamie, this is same same price but Jamie got discount so he can buy six more. Fifteen percent six eight tarts. One hundred percent it will be one two forty. Hundred divided by fifteen times six. Forty yeah. I, I don't know how to work it here but I think it's forty. <laughs> what? How much does an egg tart cost before the discount? Didn't they really say that? Sixty one twenty. No, sixty one twenty is each of Oliver and Jamie's spending for the several egg tarts. Oh, are you serious? Oh, I thought one egg tart cost sixty one twenty. In what world does an egg tart cost sixty one twenty? Exactly. In like PSLE world, I guess. Your math A, but your English F is it? No, they said several egg tarts for sixty one twenty each. Each. Each egg tart. Sixty one dollars and twenty cents divided by thirty four. One dollars and eighty cents. Okay lah, quite cheap lah the eight tarts. So if my answer in A is correct, Oliver only has thirty four tarts. So divide by thirty four, one eighty. Then sounds legit. Ah, I have no fin. My final answer is uh no nothing. I don't have a final answer. So the answer for first question, forty eight tarts. Jamie bought. 40 egg tarts. 40 and if 4A is correct, 4B must be $1.80. Original price of the egg tart is $1.80. 180 before the discount. Please, 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 please let it be correct. So the answer for A is 40 and B is 180. <laughs> yeah, finally! Yes, finally! Oh my god! One out of five questions correct. My mom told me not to embarrass myself on this video. Sorry, mommy. Give an answer. Give an answer. No. Six eight tarts is fifteen percent. So one percent is yeah. Then hundred. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, I got it wrong. Uh. <laughs> Question five is from twenty twenty one PSLE. A bookshelf can fit either thirty books or forty five small books. There are three big books and twenty three small books on the bookshelf. What is the maximum number of books that can be added onto the shelf? Only librarians can do this. The maximum of I, I don't know eh. Wow, this one I don't know eh. It's so difficult. Holy sh**. Okay, see the shorter the question, the harder it is eh. Big equals to x. Small equals to y. One is big big, 30. One is small small, 45. 23 is a half of 45. So this is 23. This is one third. This is 3. Don't we need like the measurements of the big books, like the length and the breadth and the width of the books. Or else how are we gonna know how to fit? Why? So times 23. So it's divided by 23. So it's 23 divided by 1.5. Jump can. Jump to 1.5. 23 times 1.5 is 23. Half of this is 15. Technically, 15 is about 23 small books, and this is 12. 12 lah, to be safe, I put 11 lah, I pick up lah, I, I go by aggravation. The answer for question 5 is a maximum of 12 big books can be added onto the bookshelf. 19 books max. Yeah, 11. I confirm wrong one lah. 11 big books. 11. Because it's slightly more than half for the small books. Instead of 12, I just be safe, I put 11. And the answer is... 11! <laughs> Yay! This is... Sense. <laughs> 11! <laughs> oh! Huh? What, what am I doing wrong now? Did I really get A? Or is it the bell curve? <laughs> Why? Did I, did I calculate wrong? 12, I got 12 man, why is it 11? So how do you feel about the questions? <sighs> the most recent ones, I think they test common sense more than anything so... Yeah, 
Yeah, but I don't remember like my P6 being so hard. Damn hard. I, I look at the first question, right? Then there were so many words. I was like, wait. Then my brain just stopped working. I had to reread everything all over again. It felt like I was going to get a stroke from all the words on the question. There is something wrong with the questions, I think. Whoever set this paper, they're dreaming, <laughs> uh, honestly. Any words of advice for primary school kids out there? Don't try to cram a paper on the morning of your exam. Because that's what I did, and then I didn't do very well. <laughs> Just keep practicing, doing the same things again and again and again, with different names and different numbers. Ultimately, you should be able to get it, because the theory and the logic, they are all the same. Just have fun. No need, no need to be so stressed. Because at the end of it, you will still be 30 years old like me. <laughs> And I'm still doing fine. <laughs> if you need tuition, just get tuition now. But if you do your best already, then okay lah. <laughs> I'm lost for words. Honestly, my brain cannot even think anymore. But it's full of 70 kilometers per hour plus three bookshelves equals to like 25 sweets. And that's it for this episode of Uncover With Me. Thank you for watching. Comment below what else you want us to do in this series. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next episode. Bye.